Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make applesauce. Applesauce is easy to make at home. To start, you'll need five pounds of apples, and my sister gave me a great tip one time that a variety of apples makes for a better applesauce. So today I'm using six different kinds. I have a couple of Honeycrisp, a Granny Smith, a Golden Delicious, a Fuji, a couple of Brayburns, and a couple of Pink Ladies. This should make a pretty flavorful combination for applesauce. You'll want to peel each one, and you can use a peeler core slicer for this, or you can do it by hand. These need to be diced, so I like to slice two slices off of each side of the apple, and you can see I just rotated it around. And then I'm left with the core, which I can discard, and then I can take each piece and dice up the apples like so. Once you have all of those diced up, the hard part's over. Transfer all of your diced apple to a large pot. Now you can do this on the stove top, which is what we're doing today, or you can do it in an instant pot, which will take about 10 minutes of pressure, or in a slow cooker, which will take three to four hours on high. Then pour in one juiced lemon, so about a quarter cup, and one cup of water. Then I'll pop a lid on the pan and take this over to the stove. Then we'll turn the heat on and bring that water to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat to low and let it simmer for 20 to 30 minutes until the apples are soft. After 20 to 30 minutes, your apples will be nice and tender like so, and you can either leave it chunky like this, or you can puree it in a blender, food processor, or using an immersion blender like I'm using today. The best part about making it at home is that you can make it as smooth or as chunky as you'd like. Now, at this point, you have regular unsweetened applesauce, and you can leave it at that, or we have some additional options. If you want a sweetened applesauce, add one half cup to two thirds a cup of brown sugar, stir that in, and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Then for a little more desserty option, you can add in three tablespoons of butter, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And just stir this until the butter is melted. And that's it. You can eat it right away while it's still warm or transfer it to the fridge where it'll stay good for up to two weeks. You can also freeze it for long-term storage or can it in a water bath canner. Lots of different options for your own homemade applesauce. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.